everybody, how is it going? Welcome back to Guitar Control. My name is Robert, and we are jamming out to seven Oso oh Essential Scales, modes, whatever you want to call them, for lead guitar. Now, what I want to do with this lesson is, first of all, if you want tabs for it, that link is down below in the description for you. You can grab those, follow along, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff, and get my hair out of my face. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to show you the seven modes. I'm sure you've heard of the modes by now. Uh, and what I want to do is explain a few things about them because they are definitely essential learning these patterns and shapes and stuff like that. Now just because you're playing the mode doesn't mean you are playing the mode and we'll explain that a little bit more here in just a minute. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this one. It's just going to be more like one big lesson and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through all the shapes and then I'm going to explain exactly what's going on. Alrighty, so let's hop on into this one. We are going to just be jamming right along. This one is going to be starting out with the key of G. So we're going to do G Ioni, and we're going to do the seven modes, and like I said, I'm going to explain something about them. Alrighty, so we're going to go 3-5-7 on the low E, 3-5-7 on the A, 4-5-7 on the D, 4-5-7 on the G, 5-7-8 on the B, and 5-7-8 on the high E. Now that's your first one. That is your Ionian shape. So we have... And we have another one where we did 12 modes in less than 12 minutes. You can check that out too. That was more all in a single key, and that's kind of what we're doing here, but a little bit different. So we're going to actually be continually moving up the fretboard with this one. So the next shape is right here. This is going to be referred to as our Dorian shape. Now we're still at the key of G. You gotta stick with me here, uh, but this is our Dorian pattern. So we're going to go 578, 579, 579, 579, 7810, and 7810. Of course, feel free to pause the video at any time if you need to go back over uh, the shapes and stuff like that. And then, of course, be able to descend all of these. You want to be able to ascend and descend, uh, descend each shape very comfortably and fluidly before you worry about, you know, moving on to applying this stuff. You just want to be able to sit there and play it. And the next one. Now the next shape up is going to be our Phrygian mode. Now, a uh, Phrygian shape, I should say. We're still out of the key of G. Phrygian. Because right now we don't have anything behind us. Now we can just imagine the good old ringing out G chord. Now this one's going to go like this. We're going to go 7, 8, 10 on the low E string. 7, 9, 10 on the A. 7, 9, 10 on the D. 7, 9, 11 on the G. Uh, 8, 10, 12 on the B. And 8, 10, 12 on the high E. Okay, so then descend it. Oh, that's our Phrygian shape. Now we're gonna hop up again. This is going to be our Lydian shape. We're gonna go 8, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12, 9, 11, 12, 10, 12, 13, and 10, 12, 14 on the high E string. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now next is our Mixolydian shape, which is going to be right here. We're going to go 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, 11, 12, 14, 12, 13, 15, and then 12, 14, 15. Okay. Continuing down this this road that we've set for ourselves is I, um, Aeolian, which is the minor mode. So it's our Aeolian shape. We're going to go 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 16, 12, 14, 16, and then uh, 13, 15, 17, and then 14, 15, 17. Okay, then decent. Shifting up one more time, we have what's known as the Locrian shape, and we're going to be going 14, 15, 17, 14, 15, 17, 14, 16, 17, 14, 16, 17, 15, 17, 19, and 15, 17, 19. Okay? So those are our seven scale shapes that we're going to be talking about. Now, what happens is a lot of people get confused by the modes themselves. Now, um, I, I gave them all different names. I mean, these aren't names I gave them, they're just what they're called. Uh, the Dorian shape, you know, Phrygian shape, Aeolian, Lydian, Mixed Lydian, Locrian, Ionian. Uh, these are all different names describing the pattern that's happening and, and certain notes that are happening. 
Now, they are all based off of the original major scale, also known as the Ionian mode. All that we're, you know, we're giving them different names because they're tweaking certain notes out of the scale. So for example, if we played G Ionian, it would go like this. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I, I see how sloppy I can play it. Now that is G Ionian. Now, also known as the major scale. So understand that the other six modes are based off of this one. So if I wanted to do G Mixolydian, I would need to take that shape that, that we did all the way up here, that Mixolydian shape, and play it starting on the G. And we'll be able to understand what happens to it to make it Mixolydian. So if I played it, it would go like this. <laughs> Now there's only one note different between difference between Ionian and Mixolydian. And that was this note right here. So when I did Ionian, it's a major seven. When I did Mixolydian, it's a minor seven. And that's what makes that scale so unique. It has a minor seven to it and a major third and you know all, all the other ones. But that's where that scale comes from. Now if you wanted to do uh, G Phrygian, you know, we did our Phrygian shape. You could sit there and play it. That's that kind of like Egyptian-y. Uh, Egyptian but that would be starting that shape on the G. So like I said, we did all these different shapes and there was different names to them. But to bring out the sound of that actual mode, whatever the backing track is, the rhythm, whatever you're playing over, it needs to be at a particular key and have the certain chords in it to bring out the modal sound. Because if you are just playing, uh, you're playing a you know G major chord progression, we're just gonna do G, C, D. You're like, oh, I want, it, I want that sound Mixolydian over top of that. Um, you know, you can't just go, you know, and play your Mixolydian shape starting on the D string. It's actually just going to sound major because remember we learned all those modes in a row that's all G major if you're playing out of the key of G so now um, if you wanted it to be G mixolydian over top of that you would need to take that pattern and put it over G somewhere so since we put our chords down here I'll do it up here <laughs> sound to it now. So that's kind of the tricky part of getting into that stuff and we could go way 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 more in depth. That's not even like you know the tip of the iceberg of like how to apply your modes and stuff like that but um, just you know a little you know, a little taste of learning those seven different shapes is a great place to start. Alrighty that will be it for us here today. Make sure you get those tabs, subscribe, check out these videos and I will be seeing you all later. Later guys.